woman goes viral for seeking advice about asking a man for money. Uh, oh, I don't know if that's the one. Um, there was one, a text message one that we saw. Don't ever feel like you gonna fuck with me with this mindset. And before you come talking shit in my messages, we've been talking for months. I've cooked for him, washed his clothes, combed his daughter's hair, and some more shit. And wasn't none of that my responsibility. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. It's a uh, text thread yeah. with a woman asking, the, with a guy asking a woman, you good? Um, I get off. I'm going to get off. You need me to pick up anything? And the girl responds, actually diapers. I don't get off till real late. So, I'm, and I'm almost out. So yeah, diapers. And the guy's like, that ain't my job. This is the baby daddy job for some diapers. And she like, really nigga? You actually what I need. I need, I need diapers. He's like, I ain't getting no damn diapers. That's what a father do for their kid. Not a boyfriend do for his girlfriend, I guess. And she said, oh, really? So you know my son don't have a father. You know he don't know his dad. And you're going to throw that up in my face. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, She ends it and says, all right, you know what? You have a good night. Yeah, she said you was this close to getting a pussy. I look, I'm, I'm before that. So they end the conversation on that, on that note. Then that motherfucker text back later, what you about to do? And she responds, finna go get my son some diapers, love. Take care. He responds, I can pull up later. I can pull up later. I want to see you bad. She responds, nigga, you can pull my number out your phone. That's what you can do. She rejects this man and says, how the fuck you going to ask to come over? And you couldn't even buy diapers for my kid. Um, Normally, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. On this one, I'm like, yeah, you right. That nigga ain't shit. That was some corny shit dude did. Yeah. You've been fucking with this girl for a while. She did your daughter's hair. She didn't wash your clothes. So y'all is in a relationship where y'all do things with each other back and forth. She asked you to bring over some diapers, diapers, fam. Diapers. You could have got, got a box of diapers and brought them over. She ain't asked you to get a bottle. She ain't asked you to bring no food over. You know, you came out ahead in that situation, by the way. I know how much diapers cost and how much a bottle costs, depending on what you drink. But you would have came out ahead, fam. You need me had to get a big box. You could have got a small, like, 10, 15, 20-pack joint. $20 in diapers and been through. You had to spend 80 bucks and get the big 100-pack joint. You didn't need to do that. You could have tied her over for the night. Maybe the weekend. And got everything you wanted, but you didn't. So he doubles back and say, what you doing? Can I come over? She say, nah. And he like, why? And then he's so, he's so flawed with his, 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 his game. He says, I'll get the diapers. Don't, I'll get the diapers. I'll get them. I'll get them. What size he need? I'm at the store right now. No fam is over with. It's too late for that shit. Um, that was stupid. That was my opinion. yeah. All right, so 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 I have a couple of takes on this. Yeah. Well, f- first of all, um, this is definitely fake. Second of all, um, yeah, that nigga is bogus for not going to get the diapers. Third of all, she, you could tell the front began when she said you was this close to getting the pussy. Because we all know good and goddamn well if this motherfucker ain't combing no baby's hair, ain't washing no clothes, and not fucking this nigga. All doing all of that and not fucking this nigga. And she has a son that is in diapers still. So that's where the cap comes in. That is what that's what stood out to me about that shit. Like, so you saying he's this close to getting a pussy? You know damn well he is definitely hitting that. Hey, look, hey, look. If it's if it's real, he wasn't getting no pussy because she said he wasn't. If it's her trying to make herself look good and trying to manipulate a, a, some messages thread or whatever, then I can see the world where yeah, she's just saying she ain't fucked for the for the the aesthetics of it, but yeah, you let him hit. You doing his daughter's hair. You washing his clothes. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know about you, but I saw Poetic Justice, and I know Lucky hit first before she did his daughter hell. Mm. Just saying, right? She and she still ain't do the nigga laundry. Hey, hey. Well, in all fairness, the motherfucker wore two, two pairs of pants the entire movie, so <laughs> wasn't no washing needed. <laughs> oh, shit. And that nigga, that nigga beat up his best friend and coworker for her. Hey, look, hey, look. It's it's two o'clock. So I don't, I don't want this to be too long. But I do have this question now. Monday morning. Because they got to go back to work, fam. I didn't Man. get fired because you kicked me out the car because I got into an argument or a fight with my bitch. I ain't get fired for that, fam. I, it's the 90s. You ain't get fired for that. What was Monday like in the mailroom? Oh, 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 that loading dock was definitely tense than a motherfucker. It was Suck already a pretty niggas. pretty volatile place, if I remember correctly, from the initial interactions. It was already up. Fam, you gotta see me Monday, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely going. And by the end, time we get to work, I'm letting motherfuckers know. Oh, look at let me tell you what this little sucker ass nigga did. Yeah. This pussy ass nigga just left me in the goddamn left me outside of the middle of fucking nowhere. Gonna drop me off halfway to Oakland. Motherfucker. Right, halfway to fucking Oakland. I just got home. Off of some <laughs> pussy that he ain't even getting. This nigga caping up, caping up, taking up a, and a, what my chick against me. To a girl who says she's still gonna fuck you up when you get back to LA anyway. Mm hmm. And this nigga dropped, left me in the middle of the goddamn road for these hoes. Oh, uh, that nigga, uh, that nigga was definitely, Tupac was definitely had me mugged that whole day when he got back to work on Monday. Oh, it was some heat. It was heat coming from the across the sword machine. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, shit. That motherfucker gave me all of his mail. It was all out of order. <laughs> I'm making sure you walking up and down the block all day, fam. You ain't finna get this shit easy in a row. No, nah, fuck that. No sequence. Nah. No sequence. Half of the shit ain't even yours. You get all the brochures, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, giving, giving the motherfucker everybody else junk mail is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, dude, dude was definitely on some bullshit for um not getting the diapers. Mm. 